Hi Fox, I have Fisher and Pakel uh, gas range about 20 years old which worked fine it's 30 inches wide but after about 10 years it developed a problem which was really annoying and I was waiting for another 10 years to fix it <clears throat> I just basically didn't care much about that but the problem was like if I turn on any basically any um, burner in the morning when it's it's cold and a little bit humid it would just keep igniting sparking for maybe 10 20 seconds until it just comes on flame comes on but it could even continue to spark for another 30 seconds maybe sometimes up to a minute so it, it was really annoying for a long time and i decided to fix it myself but before i called uh, Fisher and Paykel uh, help support they couldn't answer my question directly but they let me think they gave me some thoughts and some ideas and after uh, after a while taking it apart I realized basically that I have a problem I have like it could be a very common problem and um, I came to the conclusion that it could be repaired. When I called, when I called the uh, repair service in our area, they just basically asked me a pretty large amount just to show up and take it apart and take a look. They could not even uh, think about like diagnosing it just by by the issue description. So I took it apart and analyzed everything myself, and I concluded a couple basic physical things which are happening and could be an issue in, in any oven in fact so first of all the flame uh, didn't start when it was arcing for a couple of reasons so first reason was the in the morning in our area the humidity is actually much higher it could be up to 60 70 percent and that just makes the air and oxygen level much thinner in, in inside gas mix and when when gas just just tries to fire uh, it, it, it does not have enough enough oxygen and it takes a while to to make that mixture and it takes much more gas to to exhaust through, through the burner to ignite so that was one of the reasons why it was not coming up in the morning uh, second reason for instance in my middle burner it was not even coming up at all it, it could spark for a few minutes and never start burning and I found the the some the igniter itself that that part that white part on the left side which looks like a spark plug the igniter was sitting much lower i don't understand why it was working in the first place but after a few years it just stopped something probably have changed in in, in the oven and before got deformed but anyway i raised up the igniter with with the steel wire i just inst inserted the uh, kind of a steel wire about a millimeter diameter i believe it was just from the um, staple just steel staple paper staple and it raised up that uh, igniter a little higher and the flame came came up when i started the igniter so i basically fixed the first problem without changing anything it was just easily raising up the igniter so another problem was when it was burning but it could not stop fast enough was also associated with the igniter because some igniters were much lower they could start the flame but they were sitting much lower in that base and the flame did not touch enough the igniter so the basically the igniter could not get hot faster to, to shut down the ignition because there is a thermocouple inside the, that igniter which should get some higher temperature and then send the signal to some controller inside which will shut down the sparks so by raising up the igniters 
and also just just by raising up the igniters i didn't do anything else i basically fixed both problems and it took me not not much time i was just waiting for 10 years to get it fixed but i fixed it within an hour including my my just wandering around and trying to take that thing apart but it, it just comes out very easily you you just need to remove the top of the burners unscrew this there is another screw you need to unscrew there is a there is an insert to, to the gas pipe also it comes up if you unscrew it from the top and the whole thing can be lifted up and inspected but basically you don't need, even need to unscrew that whole thing uh, just by lifting up the igniter itself maybe with the, with the thin screwdriver and inserting the wire under it and then just managing bending the wire under the igniter to raise it up so that fixed the problem i made another little bit modification myself to to that specific burner because it could not even start and it with the igniter raised it was not starting fast enough so i basically trimmed a little bit of aluminum here making a groove so the gas flame and the gas stream would would just come easily and lower to the igniter that's supposed to give me easier ignition and heat up the igniter much faster so that groove also helped a little bit so these two modifications rising up the igniters and making that groove fixed all of my problems basically you know, not changing any parts and not calling any technicians and it, it doesn't take much time if you know what you're doing you could do it maybe within 15-30 minutes. Have fun and good luck.